Hello and welcome here with timesofindia.com I am Akash Das Gupta Now in this video today I want to talk to you about some of the players who made a fantastic comeback in IPL 2023 players who have been on the sidelines for a while players who were pretty much in the cold storage but some teams brought them back and they fared really really well for those teams in the 16th edition of the Indian Premier League First up I want to begin by talking about Ajinkya Rahane now he's someone who we know has had a fantastic uh, batting record with team india at the international level but when it comes to the ipl and especially in t20 cricket one did not really think that the two were synonymous but this season Ajim Rahane surprised us all. Chennai Super Kings brought him back and MS Dhoni really used Rahane very, very effectively. He scored 326 runs in 11 innings with a high score of 71 not out. He didn't play the first couple of matches for the Super Kings, but once Ben Stokes was not in the mix anymore, Dhoni brought him into the playing 11. He scored 250s this season, but what really stood out was the way that he has progressed in the IPL. In 2020, he played 9 matches, scoring 113 runs. In 2021, it went down to 2 matches with 8 runs. In 2022, 7 matches with 133 runs. This season, he scores 326 runs at a strike rate of 172.48, which is a career-best IPL strike rate, of course, for Rahane. The only season he didn't play since the beginning of the IPL in 2008 was 2010. And uh, Rahane, of course, is also back in the Indian Test squad for the WTC final, which begins on the 7th of June, where India will be playing Australia. Another player I wanted to talk to you about in this video is, of course, Piyush Chawla. How can you forget PC in this list? Mumbai brought him back, the leg spinner who is now 34 years old and he took 22 wickets in 16 matches at an economy rate of 8.11. He was, remember, unsold in the auction last year in 2022 and did not play but he's been brought back from the cold storage and he did very well. In 2021, in fact, he had played only one match taking one wicket. The last time he played 10 or more matches in an IPL season was in 2019 when he played 13 matches and took 10 wickets. This season, Mumbai brought, bought him for his base price and he uh, really repaid uh, their faith in him, taking 22 wickets. He was in fact the most successful bowler for the five-time champions Mumbai Indians at the age of 34. This was the first season when PC took 20 plus wickets and before this, his best season was 2008 when he had taken 17 wickets. The next player on this list is Mohit Sharma for the Gujarat Titans. He, of course, was brought back in absolutely filmy style. Now, if you want to know exactly what happened with Mohit, he's someone who's played two World Cups for India, but he went through a very lean phase, had to undergo a back surgery, was really struggling, and uh, he was out of the Indian team, of course, for a long time and he was not managing to really play well at all. He didn't have an IPL contract for two seasons. but he thought that he would give himself one more year. His coach, former India cricketer Vijay Yadav, in fact, had told him that perhaps it's time for him to think of life beyond cricket. But Mohit said, Sir, mujhe ek saal aur de do. And he chose to, in fact, become a net bowler for the Gujarat Titans, where he caught the eye of the likes of Ashish Nehra and Hardik Pandya. And he was brought into the Gujarat fold, where he was uh, bought for his base price. And he finished with 27 wickets in 14 uh, matches. He's had back injuries, shin injuries, but uh, he managed to really shine this season. Uh, he was at one time, remember, bought for as much as 6.5 crores by Punjab in 2016. But this time, he played for his base price and of 50 lakh rupees and did really well. Of course, it was a heartbreaking end to the season for Mohit because of what happened in the final when he was bowling the last over uh, against uh, Chennai Super Kings. Four very good balls, giving away just three runs and then that six and four by Ravindra Jadeja. Vijay Shankar is the next one on this list of mine. He's, of course, an all-rounder but known more to be a batsman. He scored 301 runs in 10 innings with a high score of 63 not out and a strike rate of over 160. He's 32 years old and he showed once again that he still belongs at the IPL level. The next player is Lambu, Ishan Sharma. He played for DC, took 10 wickets in 8 matches. He was of course completely on the sidelines, didn't play in 2022, was unsold in that auction. In 2020 and 2021, he had one wicket combined in four matches. DC again brought him on board for just 50 lakh rupees, which was his base price. He was introduced in this season after the Delhi Capitals lost five matches on the trot 
and he showed that he can still be an effective T20 player. He was in fact quite effective in the power plays, taking six wickets. So that was the list that I had drawn for the comebacks of IPL 2023.